Um, where we're going next is we're actually going to corporate-wide settings. I'm switching gears. Are you guys all okay with the login thing? That's the most common tech support thing that I have, which is great. <laughs> like that's, that's awesome. It doesn't mean that's the only one I have, but it's probably the most common. Okay, from the map, I'm actually still in the help file. Make sure you go back home, click a logo or the home link. From the map, we are going to talk about look and feel. We're going to go to settings right here. Okay, once we get here onto this page, this is called the Manage Corp Information and Permissions page. There's a bunch of links at the top. The one that we're looking for is in the top right-hand corner. Oh, sorry, we're doing look and feel. Look for the one that says look and feel. It's right here. It's the second link. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And this is basically where we get to change our settings. Um, just, just for fun, you guys want to see how we can change some settings? So currently, there's a color picture right here. Why doesn't somebody give us a color that they really, really like? Purple. Purple? Okay, how about this one right here, the 6600cc? This is what's called a hexadecimal number. You don't have to remember this or anything, okay? But this is how the computer thinks. And there's ways that we could speed this up if we wanted to make it easier. But I basically selected it, and then I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go back. I, it automatically opened me up a new tab. I'm going to put all of our rollover colors as uh, purple. Actually, should we do, I'll do all the air colors as purple. And then I'm going to change my actual, uh, what I'm trying to do is just kind of show you that we can alter these, uh, these colors as far as what happens. Then what's another cool color that you guys like? What goes good with purple? Like a lime green? Yeah. How about this one for a lime green? One second. Excuse me, Brandon. Yeah. <coughs> a couple people that are trying to get in there now. What was the first login? The main one is Logan B. Moore. M O O R E. One, two, three, four, five. That, that'll bring him in as me. Do you guys like a gray background or you want white or what color background would you like? Well, just for fun, we've just made a few micro tweaks, but just so that you can kind of see what we're doing here, this is what our new thing looks like. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Like basically what we do is we go in and we figure out what your your colors are according to your logos and then we, we do that type of a deal. Okay. Um, so what are you clicking on to get to the colors? Can I? Yeah, yeah, you can I look at it. There's, if you scroll all the way down, just to where you see the logo, just below that or above that, I can't remember, it says color picker. It's like a little link. And it just kind of says the hexadecimal values of it. Um, I'm actually going to go back and change this to something a little bit better than <laughs> what that is particularly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sound good. So you put it on paper. <laughs> yeah. So, um, is anybody else in there kind of uh, tweaking and changing some stuff for? Yeah, no. Let's go. Now we're just playing with it to see what the color okay. oh. Let's go to settings on your map there. I actually like the oh, brighter color that when I roll over it, I can see it. Okay. Better. Okay. Great. Okay. Great. Well, what we do is depending on your logo, and if you like certain things. You can create your own color schemes and etc. 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 Just depending on how you want to make it look. So okay. this is how you control your look and feel. I'll just let you guys play for just a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually log in and see if we can kind of get a, a fun little color system that, that would be fun or able to work for us. So when I'm on the color, I'm on the color page now. I need to highlight and like copying and pasting. You're copying and pasting, paste, or if you're a paper and pencil person, you could go 00FF22, you know, whatever your thing is. And then what we do, that's just how you manipulate it. We offer a free service. If you send us your logo, 
We'll atomize your logo so it's the right size, and then we'll actually sample colors right off of your logo and create a system so it looks harmonious and kind of like that type of stuff. Mrs. Sherry. Sir. Yes. Um, we have not, she has no admin whatsoever that we can select. So she can change her corporate settings okay. in her No corporate. problem, no problem. So basically, what, watch this. This is awesome, this is awesome. So she's missing a permission. And we tried going there. Watch this, I will go assign her a permission, or actually, let's not have me, Shannon, can I have you help me for a second, okay? Shannon, go oh, home. That's right. I want you to go to users. And you want to find keeps. Yep. Click on her. Scroll all the way down to the very, very bottom. Okay, stop. Give her that one. Scroll down, submit it. Okay, now refresh your page. Oh, now I got one. I got some purple on my list. Okay, you're going to want to go clear to the very, very bottom okay. and assign yourself the one, the second red one in the manage uh, section. Okay, that's it right there. Okay, we just assigned that one to you. Shannon, you just assigned her okay. name to you. Yes. Okay, so how did that get turned off, turned on? I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure, but basically... Somebody uh, else can fix it. <laughs> Here's, here's, this is a potential problem, okay? We assign <laughs> admin, 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 admin. Normally what you do in a real life setting, there's one or two. <laughs> so you have main dog and, and, and next dog down, and they have the power, and everybody else just gets normal permissions. They can't actually add, edit, but in order for this class, we assign everybody as an admin user. So, so technically, if somebody wanted to lock me out, they could go in and change my password and I couldn't get back in, okay? But, um, somebody do that during the class. Yeah. So could somebody have taken her off? They had changed a small permission on, on her setting. Like, she, Should I have done that? Should I have unclicked it? You totally could have unclicked and so it. I could, you could have unselected your own permission. Okay, I could have been the bull in the china Exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very easy to fix. Yeah. And also, just so that you know... As long as there's a second admin. No. Or we call if you. <laughs> you. If you call us, we do have an admin admin tool that says any payee to any corp. That's actually how we bridge. You know how we said a payee is bigger than a corporation? Because mm -hmm. you can have one payee in multiple corporations. And so uh, if, if you're like, oh my goodness, this is so-and-so. Oh, hey, how are you doing? Like, often we'll know you. <laughs> and so it's like, I uh, inadvertently clicked the wrong thing. Can you help me out? Oh, yeah, cool. Tuk, tuk, tuk. Like, it takes that long, and all of a sudden, you're now able to see something. The permissions are dynamic. It's checked on every single page, okay? So it's, it's uh, very important. Yeah, and don't worry about the colors yet. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Now I've got some other, <coughs> other stuff, yeah, some settings. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, basically, yeah. Um, it's very important, and it's, uh, when we say that there's a permission or a setting, often it sounds very easy. Hey, I'll give you permissions for this. You have to realize that some of these permissions are almost like gateways into places, okay? So, you know how he was talking about a body and how it has 10 main systems? Well, Atlas has at least, I'm gonna say there's 12 other standard home pages, then there's a bunch of other sub home pages. And those sub home pages, have additional pieces that you can do here or there or whatever. Like say for instance, I assign somebody to parts, that allows for exports, that allows for creating, that allows for da, 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 da. history's bold, but like, these are all things that are under one little teeny setting or, or one little permission basically. So you have to realize that each of these permissions is almost like a little door, okay? That you're basically saying, I'll unlock it and let you come in and play. And we do try to track all of what we call critical histories and like who's changing what and and this type of thing. And it's nice to do the settings. I had a good example because I took care of multiple corporations um, within one owner. So I changed each corporation's colors um, to the look and feel so that when I was working, I knew I was in that proper corporation because I took care of six, mm -hmm. something like that at Don's. It was crazy. So I changed my colors. So it was distinct to me, um, mm -hmm. and it's a nice, sense. useful tool. Good idea. Yeah. Because otherwise, you're looking at the same colors going from corp to corp, and when you're working and not thinking, woohoo, you're putting the wrong stuff in the wrong corporation. So I changed my look and feel for each one. 
Yeah. And it's a nice tool. It's totally available, and it, it just yeah. makes it kind of slick. So um, I know that all of us have admin powers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually log into a different thing, and we're going to kind of copy and paste some across. And it, if you're OK, this might be a tribute to Morningstar. How about we use a Morningstar's original colors just for our movement? And we'll, we'll kind of call it a tribute, OK? You so you guys just kind of hang tight. You can watch if you want. But basically, uh, Atlas is set up so if you have a browser window, I'm currently using Internet Explorer. I can only do one corporation for this. But say you wanted to be in two corporations at once, here's a little trick, okay? If you open up a different browser, say like Google Chrome or <laughs> Firefox, they technically, they run their own session. And so I can technically be in <laughs> two corporations at once. If I'm just using Internet Explorer, I can just be one corporation or the other. I can, I can easily open up another window and have it just statically sitting there and have it be one and have the other one. But if you literally want to be in two corporations, use a different browser, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, <laughs> should I use Chrome or Firefox? Any choices or does it matter? No okay, so what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just minimize real quick and I'll close my little color window and I'm just gonna open up uh, Chrome and I'll just log in as me and I, I can tell I'm gonna have to change my password after this little thing too because you're already seeing my username, but which is easy. As soon as you have the permission, you can go in and change your own username and password at any time. So it's just coming up here. At least in theory, unless it's checking for updates. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's trying to add a new toolbar to me. So I'm flipping over to classic home page because I have a couple extra permissions underneath there. And we're going to go to the old Morningstar account. Morningstar Automotive. So what I'm going to do is we're going to just kind of copy and paste a few things across. So I, I have two windows open, as you can see on the bottom. Internet Explorer, Google Chrome. One's in our current Logan training company, and the other one happens to be in the main Atlas system under my username. So I technically am logged in twice. Okay? So I'm just going to kind of copy and paste some of this information across. And then we're going to all log out and back in. And then you'll be able to be like, oh, well, cool. Look, I've got new colors. Okay? So we'll just kind of call this a tribute to Morningstar, which was kind of like the mother company. flopping back and forth. You're just going back and forth between the two search engines. Two. Correct, correct, yes. Could you do three? Oh yeah, you just can open up a Firefox. three browsers all the time. And I have four or more home pages on each one because I, I manage a lot of different accounts. And so I have a Linda account and I have a, uh, um, I have I have four, at least four. When I log in, I, on my computer, I have probably 12 home pages on the different things because I use all of them. So you just set it up that way and then you can use as much as you want. If you don't know how to copy and paste, that is one of the most powerful tools around. It gets monotonous at times, but... Oh, but it's handy dandy. It is handy dandy. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'd like everybody to go ahead and log out, and then log back in, and then we'll all have the new color scheme. Steve, just so that you know what we're doing is uh, we switched the color scheme to the old Morningstar one, kind of as a tribute. We're going to do some purples and turquoises and stuff, just for fun. So my login is Logan, 
B more. One, two, three, four, five. Log in. Okay, okay. The so what you, what you need to do, if, if uh, so yeah, it says Morning Star, even you got the logo. Mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah. This, that was uh, their original colors and, and different things, but like, um, you have to realize you can brand these sites to whatever. And then this is the cool piece. When you're printing out invoices and you're sending POs to vendors and you're doing this kind of stuff, guess what? It has your logo, it has your colors, it creates your entire identity. So everything that you end up doing, it's, it's branded, like the whole thing. Which is another reason why we don't want this too flashy because the more flashy we have as a foundation, the more we take away from what you want to do to make flash. So why not keep it basic? In, in some ways, yeah, yeah. Basically, it's just a skeleton. Yeah. This, like literally, if I was going to give you the analogy, I brought work boots and I brought tennis shoes. It's that kind of a level, okay? If you want classy shoes and this and this, you're going to have to skin over the top of it because our, our system is more of a workhorse type system. It's, it's a function type deal. Alrighty? Um, how many of you guys know how to set your default homepage? Does everybody know how to do that? No, go ahead. Okay, so from wherever you logged in, everybody click your logo link so you just land on your homepage. Whatever your current homepage is. What we're gonna do is there's a link on the top and on the bottom, and it doesn't matter which one you use, but it says chooser. You're going to want to click on the thing that says chooser. Okay. Once it's here, you can just click on any one of those little things and it'll take you to that. But if you actually click the little button that says set as default, currently mine's on classic homepage. I think we're going to use the map for the rest of the um, for the rest of the course. Okay. So Go set, ahead and set it. Yep. Say set as default. And then now, if you click any of your home links, and remember, there's always at least three home options. Bottom in the footer, top in the logo, right next to the quick search, okay? Those are any of your, from any page that you land on. If you want to get back home, this is how you do it. Remember how I kind of gave you this analogy of this like sphere, and with all the different orbs and the different little sub home pages and stuff? If you ever get lost, what you do is you come back home, okay? It's, it's kind of almost like the primary hub that has all these little connector flights to all these other little spots, okay? If you get lost, go back home, because then you can usually find your way from there. So go ahead and click home, and everybody should have the, the map now as kind of their default home page. Any questions so far on that? Okay, we just did a little bit of look and feel, so the whole rest of the day and anything that we're doing, we're all going to be using this type of uh, a color scheme, okay? Basically, there's an error color scheme and a positive color scheme. Watch this. If I don't select something here in the quick search and I hit go, this is going to be our air color. So once you learn what your air color scheme is, anytime you see this kind of turquoise with the dark blue, that's going to say air or caution. Anytime you see something like this, everybody click here. And uh, let's have you go back to the settings again for just a quick second. This is really hot. User. This is, yep. Um, I've clicked on settings. It's right here in this corner generally from the map. So this is our positive color. Purple bars, white text, okay? The air color is the exact opposite. It was the turquoise with the blue. And you might be, what does that mean? What it does is as the system responds to you, it might say, hey, success, good job. I totally have that, okay? And that, that'll all be in purple. If something's wrong or it's missing something, it's going to come back in turquoise because of the color system that we just set up. And don't, don't quote me on those colors because it'll be specific to your corporation. Okay? So if I'm, if I'm blue and orange, my color scrap might be blue and orange. Or it might be different shades of blue, light blue and a dark blue. Like you can totally mix and match. But anytime we see purple, it's usually a, hey, this is some information for you. Anytime we see the turquoise, it's going to be the error message, at least for our color scheme as we are right now. Uh, any questions so far? Awesome. Um, one thing that I would like to do is before we get too far into this, just so that we can kind of uh, see the corp-wide settings, we are all going to go to the corp-wide settings page, okay? And there are tons and tons of information here. And uh, 
this is the power of the system. It might be a little bit boring, <laughs> just because it's like, wow, there's like 60 some odd settings. Actually, if you count all the little subsettings, there's over 100 settings to tweak this thing exactly how you want it, okay? 